Hi, Floss Tube. We're here for a, this is how I do it, and this is some fabric 911. Uh, I've got a piece of fabric here that's got a broken thread in there. I was trying to, I don't even think this one, I was trying to fix a slub. I think I just noticed this thread was broken. So um, this is basically, if you have a hole in your fabric that is linen or even weave, how do you fix it kind of thing? Especially when it's not gonna be covered by stitching, which if, even if it is gonna be covered by stitching, you probably wanna fix it because your stitches won't hold up with that missing thread. So I thought the first thing I'm gonna show you is some fabric slubs because that's usually how I end up getting a hole in the fabric. And filming wise, we'll have to see how this goes because I have to kind of eyeball things kind of close. So anyways, a fabric slub is basically when you can see like some of these threads are a little bit fatter than others. Well, sometimes you get some that have like extra thread kind of really stuck in there. So you see here how different the length of the threads are right there. Sometimes like some extra thread gets in there and it just kind of like it looks a little messy and not pretty, very pretty. So like here's kind of one there, but like that, you know, some of them you can just pick right off. But I found some that are super in there and they cause some problems. And here's another piece that I had found. So this is kind of an example of a fabric slub is this little dangly bit here. So I would want to cut that off personally. You know, that's just me. But um, when, hey, look, it just came off on its own. Woohoo! love when that happens. Doesn't always happen that way though. Sometimes they're in there good. So here's a piece, um, which I had mentioned this in my last video when I was telling you guys I was gonna film this video. I have a piece of even weave, which is not supposed to have slubs because it's even weave. So, you know, the the fibers are supposed to be even. But look at this right here. So that's kind of a fabric slub. And this one particular piece of fabric had a huge fabric slub in it. And I managed to, you see where it was? <laughs> so I didn't have to fix this, but with this one, there was this piece of excess thread that was all wound up and knotted up in here and I managed to pick 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 it away but as you can see this part of the fabric didn't get dyed because of that but I'm okay with just this little little speck of white there it's possibly gonna get covered by stitching I'm not really sure and it's not really that noticeable so I'm okay with it but if I had pick pick picked away and now I've got a hole in my fabric this video is basically to show you what do you do to fix that so let's carry on so this piece here is um this is a 28 count cashier kaleidoscope by fabric by stephanie isn't it a pretty color i love it and this one i think i just noticed the thread was broken and this is the back side of the fabric i've decided um color wise where i want everything to lay so this is the back of the fabric you want to repair from the back because that's the part that nobody's going to see and i'm not sure how much of this i can get on camera <laughs> So uh, we'll see. I might have to give you guys something to look at while I, you know, bring it closer to my face. But I double checked and to fix these, you definitely need a needle and see if I can show this to you guys. So see this one horizontal thread here is cut. And I think there's like, there's an opalescent fiber that's making it hold on by the teeniest, tiniest little thread there. But, you know, you can see we can kind of start unpicking that. So, but that's what we're going to do eventually. We're just gonna unpick this a little bit, but first I wanted to show you the after <laughs> because I don't know that I'll be able to fully finish this on camera just because like I'm staring at my phone right now instead of my fabric and I don't think that's gonna work for actually doing the full repair. So I'm gonna kind of show you it step by step by step, but you'll need a needle and in my case, I like having a threader because I ain't licking that and threading my needle with it. So I'm gonna use a needle threader. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let me show you an after of when I use this technique. So this is Queen Mermaid and she had a fabric slub and I um, was repairing it. I was just kind of trimming it off and I trimmed a little too close to the stitching and the hole was like right here and the stitching wasn't gonna cover it, which, you know, I kinda wanted to make sure, you know, I wanted to take care of it anyways. And as you can see, I tried to show this in the last video, you can't see it too much. See this thread right here? You can see it's just the tension's a little bit different and it gets looser the further back it goes. 
you can kind of loosen that up a little bit, you know, by just kind of working the fabric. And I, I've actually done that a little bit to loosen it up. And you can see it on this end too, because what I did where the hole is, let's flip it over to the back. Whoop, flip it like a pancake. So here's the back. I basically unwove the fabric a little bit and then I grabbed both the ends and I drew them up to center to where I got these two ends here. And then I tied them together and the tail that I had here, I tried to pick it up with as many threads as I could because I was thinking about putting some fray check on there, but I didn't really want to do that because I don't like putting substances on my stitching. And hey, you guys get a look at my back. <laughs> Enjoy. But um, so yeah, you're going to unweave the threads. And the reason I like doing this, first off, I'm lazy. I don't want to reweave the entire thing. That's no fun. Second, you know, this isn't over dyed. So if I re if I take a thread from the end and reweave it, it might be like hitting different colors. So this way I'm just kind of sliding it a little bit so it's not too different. And I'm just losing a little bit of the thread at the very end where you don't really need it anyways. So that's the idea here is I'm basically going to unthread it further, draw it in, and then I'm going to thread my needle with the fabric thread and reweave it until I have both threads behind a horizontal thread and then I will tie them together. So kind of like a little corset. And I'm going to leave this down here because you guys might need something pretty to look at while I get this done. I'm trying to get this on camera for you guys, but you know, I also want to repair my fabric properly. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my needle and I, I keep reminding myself this is the back side of my fabric. So I'm just gonna unthread it a little bit, just enough to where I can grab it mostly. And this one, since this particular um, hole is so close to the edge of the fabric, I'm probably mostly going to draw this thread in more so than draw this one. I'm just gonna unweave this one a little bit just to keep things looking as uniform as possible. So I'm just gonna get that tail out a little bit. Now, if you have solid colored fabric and you want to pull a thread off the end and completely reweave it in the entire way, you can totally do that. Um, I'm lazy though. <laughs> so I unweave it a little bit, draw them both in and reweave and tie it in the back. That's, that's my patch job. Fabric century. This is as far as I'm going to take this particular thread. And I just heard my bird hit the ground out there. So she's probably going to walk in here. I have to pick her up and get her on my shoulder so she doesn't get into any nonsense. Okay, so I feel like this is this is far enough for me to pull. So I'm just going to pull it in a little further. And it's gonna get caught up right here a little bit, just a bit, but that's okay. Just kind of giving it some breathing room. There we go. So I think you can kind of see how it's pulled in from the end there. So and I want a little bit more. So I'm actually gonna draw this thread in a little bit too. my bird climbing her cage so I guess I don't need to go rescue her she has a ladder so I figured she might have a bit of an issue because if she hears me in here talking <laughs> she uh, gets jealous I did just refill her bath water and made her kind of a little salad so I was hoping that would keep her occupied so I'm just pulling in and I'm kind of just releasing the tension across the fabric here just to smooth things out and I can fix that a little bit better when I don't have a camera in front of my face. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's far enough, I think. Because I do still see how they can overlap a little bit. So I'm basically going to thread my needle and reweave <laughs> all the way to just to where there's a vertical thread that they're both behind. And then I'm going to tie it behind. 
So I don't know that I'm gonna show you the whole reweaving process. I figure you guys can probably figure it out from there, but I'll probably post on my Instagram kind of some afters if you want to see the after. But as you can see, you can't really tell color-wise. It's more you can just see the tension of that particular thread a little more taut and that will relax over time. But that's the gist of it. So yeah, Fabric 911. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.